everybody, and thanks for tuning into my YouTube channel. Um, I want to uh, welcome you to my channel, man. I'm starting my journey as a drop shipper. Uh, I figured in this first video, I would start out showing you how to sign up for your Shopify store, how to create your Shopify store, and everything like that. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to put in your email address uh, on Shopify.com. Now, if you don't know, the best way to start a store um, to be as successful as me is to go to Shopify.com and to sign up for a 14-day free trial. Okay, you do have to pay after that, but let me tell you, you're going to make so much money. If you use my design methods, you're going to have sell so many shirts that it's not going to matter. Okay, so to save time, I've already put in all of my information. I have my email address, my password. Go ahead and choose your store name. Now, your store name, you can change that in the future, but you want to keep your store name. You know, you want to make it something that's interesting, something that no one else has chosen. Now, I chose amazing t-shirts basically because I know that I make amazing t-shirts. You know, so whatever your niche is, whatever you're good at, go ahead and choose that um, for your store name. Now go ahead and click on create your store. As you can see, it's going to go ahead and initialize your store and apply all of your settings. Your store is ready to go, just as simple as that. Okay. Now they're going to ask you some questions. Um, I'm going to go ahead and choose my answers on these. Am I already selling? Well, I'm not selling products yet yes I have a product because I already have it it's all up here you know what I'm saying it's already up here what's my current revenue please one million dollars USD plus now they didn't say what's your revenue in your pocket in your bank account they said what's your current revenue it's already up here a million plus baby you know what I'm saying no I'm not designing for a client so I'm gonna click next okay now they're gonna ask your name um, and they're going to ask all of your information. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this stuff out, y'all. And I'm going to go ahead and click on the next step, which is enter my store. Okay, so this is the page that you'll get to when it, whenever you enter your information. As you can see, I have add product, customize theme, and add domain. Uh, you have a lot of other options over here, but just ignore all of that. The only thing you need to focus on right now is customizing your theme. You have to get your store active. That way you can go ahead and start sending people to your store, showcasing your designs, which I'm going to show you how to do in the next video um, right away. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and go to customize theme. Don't worry about adding products yet. We're going to get to that. Customize theme. Click on customize theme, that blue button. Okay, now you need to choose the theme that you want. You have, uh, you have the theme store, which has paid themes. Okay, they have some free, but then you have your free themes right here. Okay. Go ahead and choose a theme. See, me personally, I like minimal because I like to keep things simple. My designs are, they're really complex artistically, okay, but I keep things pretty much simple. If you look at most famous artists, uh, which, you know, I'm pretty much getting, I'm getting there. Um, we keep things like simple, but they're still complicated. They're artistic at the same time. Okay, so you can see it says that I successfully added the theme, but it won't be active until I go here. Go to see it says theme name minimal. Okay, go to actions, click on publish. Go ahead and click publish down in the bottom, the blue button. It says your theme has been published. So now I can go ahead and change this theme. If you don't click publish, it'll stay on the default. Okay, go ahead and go to customize. All right. Now, this is going to bring up um, the page where I can go ahead and I can change this thing and make it what I want to be. All right. Um, now, you can kind of scroll down, check it out. You know, if you choose a different theme, it's going to be different. This one is minimal because it's basically going to show um, a slideshow of some of my images that I've chosen. If I scroll down, it will show my different collections. And I'll show you guys how to add all of this stuff. Um, it's right here on the left hand side. So, for my slideshow, I'm going to go ahead and choose an image from the, the uh, free images that they have included. They have plenty of images. Don't go in and add your own custom picture unless you, you really want to do all of that work. For me, I say the free images are, are they're good enough because this all of this stuff, look, this stuff conveys the stuff that I want to portray to my audience, to portray uh, you know, to the people visiting my store. Um, we have kids and babies. I love that. I love kids. I love babies. You know, I love food and drink. 
So these are these are already good enough for me. Watches, I've worn watches before. I've worn I've worn at least one, two, three watches before. So a category like that is perfect. I'll click on good vibes because me, I like good vibes. You know, we have beautiful women over here. Uh, you have a flower. Some people like flowers. People like to stop, pick them, give them for gifts and things like that. So that might be something I'll choose because people think when they see a flower, hey, oh, that's something that I might give for a gift. So maybe this store has what I want. You know what I'm saying? Uh, for me, let me go ahead and go down to, let me see here. I like the food. Uh, I definitely like to eat. I think I'm going to choose this picture of the ocean. I feel like you know, with this hand coming up like this, they're pretty much saying, hey, peace, I've conquered this. I might be going off to my death. You know, I might be going down to the depths or something like that, but they're they're at peace. You know what I'm saying? That's what they're saying with the peace sign. So that's kind of something that I want for my store. So click on save. That will save that image. Um, now I can collapse this. I can go to another slide. So click on images. Click on free images. Uh, let me see. That was in Good Vibes. I think they had the food down here. Definitely want to do that. Because what I'm saying, I mean, with something like this, I have the picture of the ocean. I have the food next. You don't swim before you eat. You eat after you swim. Everybody knows that that's a rule. So look at this. Okay, so as you can see, peace. Hey, guys, I'm having fun. Now I'm eating after I swim after I swim. You see how that comes next in the slideshow. So if you scroll down, uh, these are your collections. These are when you have your items, which we're going to do on the next video. Okay. We're not going to do this one just yet. We're going to do that on the next video. Uh, we have a newsletter right here. I'll go ahead and show you guys how to edit that and um, how you, you know, you can, you can basically have people sign up so that you can send them emails, say, hey, I have a new design. This is amazing. You need to, uh, you know, check this out. So go to Footer. You can see it says newsletter sign up. You have your social icons. You can change those. Go to newsletter sign up. You see how the words right here. You can you can customize these. Subscribe to our newsletter. It says sign up for the latest news offers and styles. Okay. So uh, you can change that to say what you want. It didn't change it. That's not right. Let me add a little bit more. So, you know, I I, chose, I went ahead and said I'll mail you stuff, but I want to let people know that it's cool things that I'm going to mail. You know, so let me go ahead and go back. Um, newsletter. Here it is right here. Promotions, new products, and sales directly to your inbox. Okay. I probably need to change the heading because it says subscribe to our newsletter. When people think about subscribing, they think of something like serious. It's like, oh, am I committing to this? I've subscribed. Now I'm a subscriber, so I have to keep getting this every week. You want to let people know that this is something that they're going to enjoy. You know, like sometimes subscriptions, they can be a burden because they make you pay for things and things like that. You want to let people know, like, no, this is fun. Fun and cool. So fun and cool because you want people to know that this isn't something that's going to be a burden. It's not going to be real serious. We're going to have a lot of fun in these newsletters that I send you every month, every week, you know, however often I send them out. So um, we've edited the uh, slideshow at the top. We have added our newsletter at the bottom, our mailing list, basically, where people can subscribe. Now, the fun part comes in the next video because I'm going to show you guys how to, number one, create your products, create shirts, create designs on whether you want to do backpacks, mugs, all these different things that are going to make people basically want to, they're going to make, it's going to make people go crazy when they come to your shop. Okay. I'm going to show you guys how to add products, find